tell me a little bit about what Moet and Chandon has planned for the Globes this year. So I have helped Moet to create a cocktail for the Golden Globes, and this is the first time that Moet is doing, serving their rosé this year. So I developed, helped develop this cocktail with that specifically in mind. And the berry notes in this rosé match really well with the citrus base that I put together. And when I was developing the Sunset Starlet, which is the name of this cocktail, I um, clementines were all over New York City because kind of twas the season. And I wanted to really incorporate that in there because I don't think they have enough time in the sun, these clementines. So the idea was just to um, match the glamour of the event and have it be a fun, effervescent, light cocktail that people could enjoy. Now, for those people who are celebrating at home and, and are not going to, unfortunately, be the beneficiary of one of the expertly mixed cocktails at the event itself, what are some suggestions you can give about um, things to pair this type of cocktail with? Okay. Um, well, I'm all about easy. I have a food blog named Impatient Foodie, so I don't do anything that's overly complicated or like mind, you know, just annoying. So this is actually a very easy cocktail to make, and I've also developed a corresponding recipe with slightly less ingredients and a very similar flavor profile. So the recipe was given out. Um, it's very easy to follow. And then, you know, as far as serving, it's a delicious cocktail. It really goes with anything. Um, if you wanted to do like cheese and crackers or like a little breadstick with prosciutto wrapped around it or hummus, you know, it, it works with anything. Um, and I've been enjoying it all holiday season. So it's been a great, it's with my family. So I love it. So basically your family is your test kitchen. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Totally. My husband is totally my guinea pig and my family. Um, at my mother's New Year's Eve party this year, I actually forced everybody to drink one and give me notes. So I have tested this multiple times on people. Got it. You know, and in general, a lot of people get a little bit intimidated by champagne. So for somebody who, you know, they're just going into a store for their first time or, you know, they're a little uncertain, what recommendation do you have, aside from simply the brand name of Moet, um, what recommendations do you have to picking out that sort of first, yeah. Um, I mean, I really think that Moet is just a really great uh, champagne. It's very fruity and light. I think a lot of champagnes can be very overwhelming in their palates. And I find that Moet is the one that really works for me, especially whether you're drinking it alone or deciding to mix it with other things. It's really the one that kind of marries well with everything. Um, and the rosé is really, really delicious with those nice little berry notes. It still has the lightness and the fruitiness, but it's just a little bit more rounded in flavor. So I really like that too. And a lot of people, too, when they think of champagne, you know, they think of the classic flute. Yet I notice here you're serving in a wine glass. Talk about that. Um, so th we're serving this year in a wine glass because I just kind of wanted to open up the flavors a little bit, and the wine glass helps do that. And then also the effervescence develops really nicely in here with the citrus, with the citrus notes especially. Um, and then we put some ice in there so it stays nice and chilled. I mean, I thought it was going to be a little warmer in L.A. this week because it's like pretty freezing here, but um, it's very refreshing. And last question, of course, so many celebrities at the Golden Globes this year. Um, if you could, if you could see one person enjoying this wonderful cocktail that you have designed, who would who would you like to see enjoying your cocktail? You know, I am a huge House of Cards like fanatic, so I think if I saw um, Kevin Spacey enjoying my cocktail, I would snap a picture and take it to my husband. But otherwise, I will not snap a picture of anybody. But that is like the one thing that I would probably do.